Wine TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. I can always do that. Anyway, um, all right, so wine number two for today, which actually for you guys will be wine number one for Wednesday. Um, I've had this for a while, and I, I kind of keep forgetting to do it because uh, it's like in the wine rack instead of on the counter where, where most of the review wine gets stored, and that's usually the wine that I go to first. And then I would go, oh yeah, I got some wine in the, we have a little mini rack right around the corner here. I mean, it holds about eight bottles, I think. So this has been in that rack for a couple months now. This is back when I bought a bunch of Specs stuff. So this is the non-vintage uh, Kortaki uh, Mavro Daphne of Petras. Uh, this is a sweet red wine. It was $8.99 um, at Specs. Um, now, this is a Greek wine. Hopefully, uh, you got that impression from hearing Mavro Daphne, Mavro Daphne, as in Daphne, um, from Greek mythology. Actually, that's not entirely the case for the name of the varietal. Um, I can't remember the gentleman's name, but the person who came in uh, and started the winery, um, he named the varietal Mavro Daphne, which I believe is supposed to mean little... I forgot what it was supposed to mean. But, legend is that his wife's name was Daphne, so he named it after her. Okay, so, uh, this is uh, made in the area uh, of Petras, or maybe it's Patras, uh, in Greece. It's off the, well, the Gulf of Petras, which is off the Ionian Sea. Um, it's kind of the, I guess the western part of Greece. Well, for you guys, western part of Greece. Um, but there's like a, you have a part of Greece and then it kind of bunches up like a, like a, like a waste of some sort and then it, then it comes back out a little bit again. So it's kind of in, yeah, that little, or maybe that little part, I'm sorry, I'm trying to look at your perspective versus mine. Uh, it's kind of like on this little, on this little part of Greece, um, centrally kind of located. So, um, that's where it's from. Uh, so Mavrodaphne is a red wine. Um, I don't really know much more about it. There's also, uh, according to what I could find out there from the distributor's website, which is Nestor Importers, um, there's another varietal called Black uh, Corintiaki, um, or just Corintiaki, but uh, I'm assuming another red wine. Don't know how much of each is in there, but this is a sweet red, sweet red wine. And let's see, uh, let's see what the back says. Mavrodaphne, Mavrodaphne of Petras is a wine of world renown coming from Greece. It has a beautiful, I'm sorry, a bouquet full of raisins. You know, I can kind of really smell that. And dates. And on the palate, dried fruit flavors develop. Uh, delicious with cheese or fruit, refreshing as an aperitif, as well as an accompaniment to a rich stew or with game best served chilled, which we know I don't drink, well, I don't taste the wines chilled. So I might have to drink it chilled. So you can already tell it's sweet, and it's very, very light colored. Um, you can really tell it probably while I was pouring it, you could really see through the pour. Yeah, I, I get the raisins and dates. You know, I, I think when I've smelled stuff like this before, I never really had a, you know, the date smell. I never really had a connection to what to really call it, um, but it's definitely sweet. Um... I'm not sure how much I'm going to like it, but, but yeah, and you know, I think the dates really, really, um, nail it. But the other thing is, and, and I get kind of a, a, um, a bread component. So almost like a fig Newton type of thing. So figs and dates, but a hint of the, the, the bakery part of it. So we'll see. We'll see how it tastes. 
not a fan of the nose, but this is because it's just the, the, the aromas. It's not a bad nose. It's just, it's not my favorite fruits. Though I do like raisins. Dates, not so much. This is going to be an acquired taste. It's not a bad wine. I'm not a fan of it. But if you like an explosion of dates in your mouth, you'll love it. Okay? Um, I probably would like it if I drank it a little more often, developed, you know, acquired a, a taste for it. It's just something I'm not experienced with, which I'm going to tell you, out of my viewers, as of this point in the history of this show, probably none of you are going to like this wine. Okay, maybe one person might, like, really, really like it. Everybody else, if you drink it, you'll probably go, yeah, I gave it a try, not, not a fan of it. So here's how I'm going to score. I'm going to score it for my palate and how I like it. Not necessarily... Um, you know, as a wine, it's not a bad wine. I just, I just don't like it. So I'm, I'm going to give it a low, not a really, really low score. I'm not going to like kill it on the score, because you know, I think it's. I don't know. It's okay. I think it's an acquired taste. I. I don't want to give it an under 80 score. That's the problem. But I don't like it. And that's just the reality of it. Um, 72. Okay, for my palate. Now, this is what I think somebody who likes this wine. It would probably be 10 points higher, an 82. But for my palate and what I like and, and, and just the type of stuff um, and the styles of wine, 72. I'm just not a fan of sweet red wines. Really, I'm just not. So, we'll go with that. Anyway, um, however, I do suggest that you try it. It's only nine bucks, um, probably anywhere you buy it. It's gonna be hard to find, very likely. You have to go to someplace like a Specs, that's a large wine shop, that's gonna have like two Greek wines in it, and this might be one of them. It probably will be one of them. Um, so I would say just to expand your palate, I would say try it. You know, spend the nine dollars on it. Roll the dice. You might like it, especially if you like sweet red wines. Uh, I'm not a fan. Um, I will drink it. I'm not going to dump it down the drain like I did that sixty some odd point wine that from back in the day. But um, yeah, I'm going to move on to the next one. Buy the swag. Give me some t-shirts, buddy. Um, also, I'm going to be put, putting up my uh, reviews on another website <clears throat> that does just reviews. So, and they're supposed to pay me a couple bucks per review. So, uh, I, don't, I hate the term full disclosure, but um, I don't get paid for any of this stuff other than what if you don't donate something or you click on ads and I get money from that. But uh, got that, and I'm mulling over something. Uh, somebody proposed something to me about kind of helping him promote something. Not really sure. Um, how I'm going to promote that, um, but uh, or how to promote that, or whether I should promote it for free, or I should get some type of compensation because it, you know, as, and put it as an ad, but maybe mention it a couple times. So I'm at the point with all this. Just so you know, I'm really at the point with all this that I, I've done 100. And this I think is number 124. Don't make a lot of money on it. I don't like to harp about hey, you need to give you money, but you know, ad supported stuff. Or have an advertiser pay me uh, in general not to not to advertise their wine because I don't want to be hey pay me to advertise on my website and oh by the way I'm going to give your wine a 72. I feel bad about taking their money. Um, just like I'd also be feel bad about saying hey it's a 92 point wine and I'm taking their money and think people think that I'm giving it a good review because I got money from them. This is not a winery, but this is somebody else that like to like a concept that they, that's associated with wine like to work with me, but I, I think I'm going to have to say, 
you got to pay me not a lot of money, but I think that's the way I'm going to go. I told them I'd think about it, and if they watch the show, this is at this point they're going to see what my thinking is, and I may change my mind. I may just go, yeah, let's do it, or maybe not. But um, I'll put more information up once I get started with the other thing about uh, the, having the reviews. You can check out their stuff. They've got a bunch of reviews about other things people do like, like I do. Just kind of keep it real. That's it. Friend me up. And I hope I had a great time at that wine thing. Um, and that's it. I'll see everybody again on Friday. Oh, 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 oh. Sommelier School will return this week. Second half of Spain. That will be up tomorrow. Should be up tomorrow because I'm recording it this week. And then also have Portugal up the following week, so I'm recording both of those this week. That's it. I'll see everybody again on Friday.